This is Brian Campbell with Old Man New Tech, and today we take a field trip to a local grocery store. Now I can find dental floss, I can find all sorts of other stuff here at the grocery store, but can I find decent electronics? So I traverse the aisles, looking high and low, through the dairy aisle, through the laundry detergents, through the toys, through everything else. Finally, I found what I was looking for. I mean, I found a lot of stuff in the electronics aisle that was really out of date. Landline phone systems, portable AM FM radio, Walkman style headsets, even some things that really didn't belong there. But most of the stuff I found was like earbuds, sports earbuds, Things that you can find on Amazon now that don't get that great of reviews and are priced better on Amazon than you can find at the grocery store. I went to my Amazon app and I checked out some of the not-so-stellar reviews for a lot of the products here in this aisle. Things like the gummy earbuds found on Amazon with really awful reviews and somewhat overpriced. But again... Buyer beware, these things don't have fantastic reviews, and you'll end up spending a couple more dollars at the grocery store. This led me to find something that I was able to settle on. The iLive Waterproof Wireless Speaker. They look kind of like a mini UE boom, but they were on sale for $12.49 plus tax. Of course, with my shopper card. So, I rushed to the checkout. Brian Campbell, Old Man New Tech. So, I've got the waterproof speaker from iLive, or iLive, or I don't know the name of the company, but anyways, I got this at the grocery store, and what I'm trying to see is if I can get a decent electronic at the grocery store. Now, I paid only $12.50 plus tax for this at the grocery store, and we'll see if it's possible to get decent electronics. Let's unbox this. Okay, so we got directions. Like I said before, I shouldn't need those directions. Um, got a nifty little carabiner, just so I can hang this in my shower. And we got the iLive speaker. It's about the size of a half a beer can. Not too heavy. Nifty little cloth. Come in here and take a look at that. Nifty little cloth covering on it, rubberized top. And you've got a, uh, you've got, let me see if I can pull that off there. You've got your watertight uh, micro USB charging port and your 3.5 millimeter aux in so you can uh, plug other devices into it if you don't want to Bluetooth. So we got the controls on top. You got the uh, up and down volume buttons. You got a, uh, a phone and Bluetooth button. Play and pause. I like the layout. Microphone's right there on top too. Little uh, loop to attach your carabiner. All right, so we're gonna power this little thing up here and see how easy it is to pair. Power on. Bluetooth. All right, I don't see anything happening. Huh, okay, let me see. I see a little Bluetooth button here. Let's see if we can put this thing into pairing mode. This is the iLive waterproof wireless speaker. Bluetooth is connecting. Ah, that's where it was, and there it is. It, popped, it just popped up. Bluetooth connected. All right, we're connected. All right, so we got her paired up. We're gonna play some music here and see how this sounds. All right, let's turn it up a little bit. Turn up a little bit more. It's a little over halfway up. Okay. 
almost no mid-range, very little bass. I'm expecting the bass to drop, but it never really drops. Let's turn this up all the way now. Up all the way. Okay. It definitely sounds better when you put it on a flat surface. So where I normally hear like rich bass, hearing that biff, 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 biff sound. Why don't we try to make a phone call with this? Use of your teenage daughter in a video that you're making to put on YouTube will totally embarrass her. Please do not do this at home. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Hey, what's up? This is my daughter, Chloe. How do, you, how do I sound, sweetie? Pretty good? Yeah. All right. You sound good too. Does it sound like I'm on a speakerphone? No, it sounds like you're actually kind of, yeah, it does. Kind of, but actually sounds pretty good. There you go, makes okay, good phone good. calls. I'm calling you on the iLive waterproof speaker. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> yes, welcome to your first appearance on Old Man New Tech. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello, All right, so I'm gonna say goodbye now. It sounds good as far as phone calls go, and it makes and receives phone calls. It can take splashing, so you can wash it off if you need to, but you're not gonna be able to submerge this. I don't know if I would put it in a shower because again, uh, it can take splashes, but if it gets really wet, I don't know if it will survive. So I've got a, a little speaker, and I, with all the little speakers that have come out nowadays, some are engineered really well. You can get a really good speaker mini speaker from iHome. Uh, there are a couple other brands on the market. Uh, this is uh, obviously a, a bargain budget speaker and you can hear the music and you can hear some talking. Uh, we'll put on a uh, podcast here and you hear all that sounds. Of certain foods can often get Okay, so the voice sounds a little bit flat. Regional rivalries. But if there's one Overall, I'm not that impressed by the sound on this, but again, I spent $12.50 at the grocery store for something. So I guess if I needed some music in a pinch and I wanted to, uh, to have some, some music in a, in a smaller room or a small environment, maybe in the shower, maybe in the bathroom, might not be a bad, bad idea to buy this, or you can buy something like this as a stocking stuffer for, for uh, a younger kid. They're not gonna need the best and latest and greatest in sound. Um, it is IPF5 from what I understand, so that means it can take some splashes. You're not going to be able to submerge it, and um, I bought speakers or a speaker for my daughter, and uh, it's about this size. It sounds a lot better, and maybe I'll do a review on that for you guys in the near future. You can submerge it, and it makes great phone calls. So, um, anyways, that's my take on this speaker, hands on and out of the box. Now I couldn't recommend it, but some poor guy on Amazon bought one, so I decided to throw his review out there. Rick H. gave it two stars for the sound quality. Very poor bass, non-existent for the most part, but three stars overall for the convenience factor. Since this is waterproof, you can set it on dot dot dot. Actually, it's not really waterproof. So ultimately, can I recommend going to the grocery store and buying electronics? Probably not. I would probably end up going to an electronics store, Costco, Sam's Club, or go online to Amazon. You're getting better prices there. And really, I would only go there out of necessity if I really needed something and nothing else was open. But uh, I don't think I would recommend the iLive speaker either. It's really underpowered. The sound isn't that great. It was actually missing one of the components it was supposed to come with, which was the, the charging cord and it, overall the quality is not that great on this speaker, even though it does look good, but I ultimately wouldn't buy it. Peace. Hey, it's Brian with Old Man New Tech. Please support this channel by hitting subscribe down below and hit that little bell. And if you're interested in the product, there are links down below. Have an awesome day.